Welcome to the Stone and Star Art Studio. Today we are going to make two Christmas cards or holiday cards with some beautiful, colorful ornaments. You'll need watercolors, watercolor paper, pencil, eraser, and maybe a pen. So let's get started. I have my watercolor paper and I have, I have a couple pieces of scrap paper, which is what we'll start on, just kind of play with the shapes and colors. And then I have two pieces of, I cut out some rectangular shapes and then I'll be able to fold these into cards later. So that's what I have ready. And I have a little bowl of water and I have a few different brush sizes. I have a giant wad of paper towels and my watercolor set. So for today, when we, whenever we make our ornaments, you really don't have to stick with a particular color scheme if you don't want to. You can go traditional and do like red and gold or blue and white or something if you want, or you can go wild. And we'll spend a little bit of time just kind of playing around with some different color combos and some different techniques with the watercolor. So feel free to kind of uh, experiment with some ideas for that. But first, we are going to use our scrap paper and a pencil. I want you guys to be able to see exactly what kind of shapes and things we're going for. So the whole idea for this card, I'll kind of sketch it out for you. And you know, and you're welcome to edit this as much as you want. You can add in words. You can just do one ornament. You can do 18. I, you know, it's whatever you want to do. So if that's our piece of paper and it bends right here, then we're going to draw on this side, obviously. And when we do, what the basic layout is we're going to have ornaments hanging from off the page. So they can be in different shapes and sizes and different amounts. Three is always a good number to use if you don't really know where to start. I may do one with three and one with five, and then they'll kind of be hanging from off, off the, the page there. And so inside each ornament is going to be a bunch of colors and kind of watery movement. And then um, all the rest will be white. And then you can use just um, very thick pigmented watercolor for the string. And even tie like a little bow on it if you want. So that's kind of the layout we're going for. And... So first thing, we can look at some different watercolor shapes. So in this one, we talked a lot about um, using surface tension to our advantage. So that's gonna be a big part of this one today. So we really only wanna get water where the actual ornaments are. And then once we have water in that space, then we can add as much color and swirl and really play with it from there. So let's talk about different ornament shapes. So you can do a typical circle. I'm just going to sketch out some different shape options. My goal whenever I'm um, trying to create a piece, you know, planning out a piece of artwork, is always try to look for ways to make it more interesting. So it's really boring if this is going to be your card and you do three just like that. All the same size, all totally separate, there's no overlap. This is boring, okay? So we want to shoot for something a little more interesting. So if we did one that was maybe like a bigger one in the front and then one slightly like behind it, maybe a smaller one back here, that would be more interesting than this one, right? And you'll go ahead and just apply water just to the actual ornament part. And then you can go back in with your color and really kind of just let it do what it wants to do. So with this, you can even pretend that there's like a light source and have the darkest spots on one side. And it can look really nice if, even if you just use one color. So don't feel like you absolutely have to use multiple colors if that's not something you're super comfortable with yet. 
And then you can always go back with multiple layers and make it really bold and striking. So that's kind of a simple one color ornament. And another way that you can do it, which is really fun and really easy, is to mix two colors. So it especially works well if you skip a color on the color wheel. So like if I wanted to mix red with something, it would be more interesting for me to mix red with yellow than it would for me to mix red with orange. Because when I mix red with yellow, I end up with red, orange, and yellow. Whereas if I just mix red and orange, I just have red and orange and everything in between. It gives you a wider span of color, if that makes sense. So I'm going to mix, let's get experimental here. I'm going to mix magenta, I think, with blue. And so you can really kind of keep it consistent over all the ornaments if you want and just make it kind of like an ombre thing. So I'm going to do magenta on the bottom half, which I didn't follow my own rule. It's better to add water to your area first and then go back and add color. I broke my own rule. I'm gonna go back with blue on the top half. So I have my rich blue, my rich red, I mean magenta, and then where it meets in the middle, I get this lovely purple. And then I could even add like some blue down at the bottom too. So right now I would encourage you to maybe kind of follow along with what I'm doing, maybe experiment with your own color combinations and you know, try out a few different things and see what you think is gonna look best. And all I'm doing is just kind of lightly tapping it and adding color. So it's much easier to add more color than it is to take any color away. And I'm going to put my magenta, because I really like my magenta, over here. Just kind of let that live. Then I'll put some of this. This is more of like a cerulean blue than a deep blue over here. Then how about some green? Tiny bit of red with my magenta, maybe. And I don't know why, but I think I'm gonna add some yellow. Yellow's not usually my color, but why not? Maybe it'll turn into like a nice rainbow ornament. Oh, that's pretty cool. And so then once you have your colors added, if you want, you can go back and add in more water or just kind of swirl it around a little bit. Or lift colors that you don't like. Add in more of what you do like. Tiny bit of purple.
Okay, that one's just about done. Erase my pencil marks down here. I guess the last things to do is to fold up my cards. Let's see. Okay. I might write a word on that later. So here is the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give a like, give a follow, and keep watching for more videos.